Yo, what is up Comfy Gang? It's your boy Company. So, obviously I haven't been doing too well with my upload schedule that I wanted to adhere to, so I will have to upload another video in the next 12 hours and then one on Sunday if I want to avoid paying for Discord Nitro, so sorry if I end up spamming your feeds with my long ranty videos. But anyways, um, I sort of wanted to segue from that, that the, the fact that I'm not living up to what I promised and stuff like that. Uh, and that's probably because uh, of my lack of energy. And that's that sort of inspired me to talk about today's topic, which is basically to give what, in my opinion, is the best advice for younger needs out there. And when I say younger needs, you might be thinking, hey, Comfy, aren't you a quote unquote younger need? And the answer to that would be, Yes, I technically am fairly young, but I am starting to hit the age where I'm um, starting to be considered an adult now, even more so than in my early 20s. And obviously things are getting a little bit scarier now. And, you know, I'm starting to feel that mounting pressure. And at the same time, I also do feel like I have enough life experience to be giving this advice because I have been like, I have been living this lifestyle fairly long term for three to four years now, probably four by now. I can't do the calculations, but with that in mind, um, I can definitely, I feel like I definitely have enough perspective and I definitely have lived this lifestyle long enough to be giving advice and uh, also have my own share of things that I've learned and regrets that I want to basically talk about. And obviously there's so many things that I could talk about in this video, but to keep the time limited, I will just focus on probably the one main thing and then maybe talk about a few other things if there's still time. If this video isn't too long. So anyways, basically my biggest piece of advice for younger needs out there, needs age uh, 18 to 21, and even needs in their teenage years, that especially applies to them even more. And that advice would be just to try just to try it life. And I know society is shit. Um, you know, society is shit. People are fucking cunts. And, um, you know, normies are all fucking assholes. And um, capitalism sucks. And all that. I sort of half and half agree with that because part of me is a sort of nihilistic doomer. And part of me is sort of this positive, happy bloomer but um yeah to that i would say you know don't do it for society don't try to improve for society do it for yourself first and foremost because honestly you know regardless of what society expects of you i do feel like for most people and i'm i'm obviously speaking from my own personal experience so not everything i say is going to generalize to everybody equally and but I do feel like there are a lot of people out there who can relate to what I'm saying and also I can relate to a lot of other people out there who have because I feel like I have been in a similar position to them and for the longest time I honestly believe that I was shit at everything and I partly still do but I also have surprised myself in how far I have gone as far as the many hobbies I've pursued. And uh, I do feel like that I have improved a lot uh, from since I started, uh, you know, boxing, for example, making music and all that stuff. And, but for the longest time, I honestly believe that people were basically born with innate sets of abilities and talents and that talented people would um, would basically be able to reach expert levels of playing within, I don't know, maybe a month or two of playing. Whereas, you know, if you found something hard as a kid, then, you know, chances are it probably wasn't meant for you. You weren't, ta you're were not meant to do it. You're not talented. If you put an effort, have effort into it, then um, it's probably just a waste of time. But what I realized was that even though I am still shit at pretty much everything I've put my my hands, tried my hands at, 
I would say that I'm infinitely less shitty than when I first started. I've honestly surprised myself as to how far of how much progress I've made in all these different fields. And regardless of whether you're talented or not, even if you're not talented at all at something, but you do put in the effort into it, you will make progress. And that progress just might be slower or it might be not as much in the end, but you still will make progress and that will put you miles ahead of everybody else. And you know, that's besides the point because you should honestly just do this for yourself and not compare yourself to other people because you will feel this deep sense of satisfaction when you put uh, a lot of effort into something and push through those times where things just feel like crap and you're 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 just a beginner and everything seems difficult and you will feel the sense of satisfaction that um, you're able to do things that you previously couldn't do you will feel this sort of a it will sort of bolster your sense of identity and give you at least some at least even a tiny bit of self-esteem which uh i once didn't have i also didn't have a sense of identity at all as a kid and i feel like my hobbies are sort of what gave my life meaning and purpose and identity and you know even though everything is meaningless and all that. Yeah, I get it. But at the end of the day, you know, it's pointless. It's pointless uh, just believing that stuff when basically human beings uh, are infinitely happier when they believe that they have meaning, when they believe that they have purpose. And having a hobby is a good way to achieve all these things. And um, I'd say that you just have to try different things out there and if you find nothing out there truly interesting then honestly just at least try cutting out all of the internet and the video games and things that you find distracting because you might think that you're doing these things because they make you happy but in reality the reason you think they're making you happy is because firstly you've never experienced true happiness happiness or satisfaction doing anything and secondly you you sort of conflate the, the numbing effect of addictive behaviors uh, have on your negative emotions with happiness and obviously numbing is infinitely better than shitty emotions but in some ways it isn't because these shitty emotions do sort of push you towards behaviors that actually make you happy and I feel like these addictive behaviors definitely get in the way of that and yeah and so you should and i feel like once you get rid of them you might start to you know try different things and eventually find something that is meaningful to you and be able to better orient yourself in terms of your hobbies and your goals and your just work your way around the world better when you um are not so mentally drained by all of the you know useless distractions out there like social media uh, video video content uh video games music etc well not you know not music per se but excessive listening to it as a cope i guess anything in excess basically and basically consumption and yeah so yeah just try a lot of different things and when you eventually and also the reason I stress this to younger needs specifically is because uh, with hindsight, I sort of realized that even though in my, in my early 20s, late teens, and even my teenage years, I always thought that I didn't have a lot of energy, that I didn't have a lot of willpower, and I didn't have drive to do things. But with hindsight, I sort of comparing the way I feel now to the way I felt before, I actually do realize that I had so much more energy, so much more, uh, so much more drive to do things. But the only thing that the reason I wasn't productive at all was that all of my drive and energy was misdirected to all these distracting activities, which I talked about before. And because of that, I mistakenly believed that I was a low energy, 
low drive individual who wasn't capable of accomplishing anything. But I regret that because if I had actually spent the time and invested all of that energy and focus into things that were meaningful to me, then I do believe that I would have made so much more progress. And I'm telling you that obviously this is going to apply to everybody out there, but I know that there are people out there like me who at that age think that they don't have what it takes to succeed in this world. And I'm telling you that you are probably mistaken and you should honestly just try and improve like I am. I wish I knew these things much earlier because I would have had a much bigger head start in life. And, you know, the bad part of me kind of feels shitty, you know, because misery loves company. I Part of me doesn't want to tell this advice to people because it makes me feel better that, you know, why, why should I give other people a head start? Shouldn't other people suffer like me? But I don't know, part of me do realize, do, do, fuck, does realize that that's a shitty way to live and that, um, yeah. That, yeah, honestly, you honestly don't realize the extent to which you can impact your life by just, you know, sticking to something and doing it, not every day. You don't even have to do it every day. Like they say in all those self-improvement videos, you just have to try at it on and off for, uh, you know, for years, especially better if you're a teen. Uh, but, you know, even in your late teens and you will get better at it. Uh, that is without a doubt. And you will become, uh, you know, it will, serve your life in a lot of different ways and you know it might just give you that chance to escape either neatdom and eventual homelessness or the path the usual route of wage cuckery wage slavery which leaves so many people just equally unhappy meaningless living uh meaningless lives doing meaningless shit tedious shit for hours and hours and hours and then basically doing what they would have done as a need in order to cope with the dread of going back to work and all that. And I would say just, you know, you can honestly, there isn't a way out of that. And at my age, I'm still trying to figure out whether it's still possible for me to escape that. But for younger needs out there, you definitely, I'm telling you 100%, you have a chance a very real chance of escaping neatdom and of escaping uh, wage cuckery and ascending like I wish to, but I'm on the fence about because I am reaching that point where, you know, I am starting to get a bit old and wage cuckery might, re being realistic might be the only thing that I have left for me. But um, I'm telling you at, at your age, you can still dream and you can still accomplish a lot of different things and also at that age it's not just your energy that is heightened but it's also your ability to learn obviously learning is more optimized especially in your teenage years i think you're primed to learn certain things as a a child but you're probably equally as malleable as a teenager but because of the cognitive enhancements that come with adolescence and the the rapidly, uh, you know, the rapidly pro proliferation, the rapid proliferation of your neurons and the, the the killing off of what's it called, the pruning of unnecessary connections in your brain, you become more and more primed for learning. So if you're a teenager, just I'm telling you, get off your ass and do something for yourself. Just work for yourself, and you have a very realistic chance of not living a shitty life like. 99% of the people on this planet do and um, but even if you're not a teen even if you're like you're late you're 18 or you're 21 even you still have a good you still have a good uh, I'm not gonna say the amount let's just say five to ten years before you reach my age and um, that's plenty of time to become a master at something or at least lay the foundation for you to eventually become really good at something that you're passionate about and can make a living off of. 
And that's honestly what, in my opinion, is the definition of ascending, is to be able to survive and thrive doing something you enjoy. And um, yeah, that's honestly my advice because you you are still, uh, yeah, I'm rambling at this point. I have, what, all, what other advice do I have? I kind of talk about cutting off useless activities like baby babes. Um, I guess my other piece of advice would be, you know, just try going to school if you're able to. If you're not, then that's I, obviously my condolences. But, you know, you never know that, you never know since thinking back, I do realize that everybody was um, much more open socially. And while people sort of uh, are more discerning socially, <clears throat> that gets harder. It gets harder and harder mistakes become less and less permissible in the social in the social world as you grow older and people sort of expect you more and more to be neurotypical and more and more socially savvy and if you don't learn these skills when you're younger it becomes more and more punishing to try and learn even though it's not impossible but it becomes infinitely more stigmatizing to make mistakes uh, when you're my age and older beyond that and I would say that yeah, you sort of, um, yeah, as much as, I know it feels scarier when you're younger, but now that some of my neuroticism has gone away, I sort of wish that I had made a lot of those mistakes that I, that I would have made uh, when I was, that I should have made when I was younger so I could have learned from them. And also, I'm telling you that it is, I feel infinitely easier to make meaningful friendships when you're younger too so there's that basically in a nutshell the theme of this uh, video should be that with hindsight you sort of realize year by year and probably eventually decade by decade that you probably it would have been so much easier for you to change your life when you were younger i've got 40 year old relatives saying the exact same thing to me and i didn't believe them and i'm sure that they're going through the exact same thing thinking that being in your early mid-20s is really young and I'm telling you that being in your teens is definitely teens and early 20s is even younger so uh yeah and things will shit will just get harder it'll be harder to break out of patterns as time passes on so and I'm telling you that the chances of me succeeding are moderate to low but the chances of you succeeding if you do what I'm doing right now as a, a neat in their early teens and early, tw in their late teens, even especially in your early teens, but in your teens to your early 20s uh, is infinitely higher than mine. So you should honestly just try and go for it and at least try to live a meaningful life because if you end up failing, which is a, po a real possibility, then at least you won't have that regret of not having tried. And also all of the copes and useless shit will not only just be there, but they will be infinitely better in the future. So let's say you miss out on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, fucking, I don't know, like four or whatever Black Ops bullshit or your favorite video game that you wanted to play, your favorite RPG. Well, guess what? Video games are only going to get much better. Movies and sound are only going to improve the technology and remain relatively affordable as much as capitalism does get bashed and it's not a perfect system the copes are getting cheaper and cheaper if you just look at it from an objective point of view and that's both a good and a bad thing but for an eldar need that's definitely a good thing and all that shit will not only be there but will infinitely better will be infinitely better and you could always just play the old games that you missed out on on things like emulators emulating technologies or just way advanced machines in the future with much better performance. So anyways, that is pretty much all the advice that I have to, that I have to give to younger needs. I hope this video, you know, helps somebody get off their ass and actually, you know, ascend like I wish to do. And I know I'm not, I'm in not, I guess in reality, I'm not in the best position to give advice, but I hope this does help somebody out there at the very least. So this is Company 
signing out and expect a video pretty soon.